So good evening and good evening everybody. Welcome back to another daily transfer update. One day I'll be doing one of these and we'll be unveiling a new player or getting rid of some of the dross that is at Arsenal Football Club. Uh, but before I start talking about David Rea, the Brentford goalkeeper, uh, let me just divert your attention to the Flick app. Please do go and download this. A lot more interactive content via you guys voting on polls will make up my shows. Starting 11 uh, for the preview and starting 11 show that I do tomorrow, the night before every single game. You guys are going to pick the 11. Um, I will still pick mine separately as we go, but I want you guys to pick yours because a lot of you disagree with me on certain players, etc., etc. So I have run polls on that. Also player ratings. After the games, I'll stick up the polls. You can vote for your player ratings. Now, let me just walk you through this real quick. Uh, you can do your predictions. Um, so, for example, the games tonight, I didn't score any points on that Stoke game. That was a bit of a mare. Zero out of five. Um, you can do chats, a pixel chat. You can do the Bluetooth. And um, each pixel goes into the chat. There's some cool pixels on there right now. Uh, so make sure you check that out. I'm looking for a new moderator as well. Uh, there's the 11. You can pick your 11. It's on a poll. Um, three centre-backs. Pick which ones you want, one at a time, and uh, go through the starting 11 one by one. Make sure you go and check that out. 44 people, 45 people have voted on that um, from when I set it up. So, yes, make sure you go and check that out. Nearly 2,000 people on there. Uh, we can do quizzes and stuff like that. I'm adding three moderators on there on Saturday. So make sure you scroll down to the moderator chat and spam it with the uh, with the emotes and uh, stick your emotes in there to qualify for um, potentially being one of the moderators of the weekend. There is also a shirt giveaway, football shirt of your choice. One lucky person will get that. So make sure you follow me on that app. We're nearly on 2,000. It's gone up so quick since last, uh, last time we played. Since Saturday, uh, it's gone up about 1,200, which is pretty mental. So thank you very much. And follow my Insta, Lee Gunner 82 as well. I'd appreciate that. But uh, let's move on. And uh, let's ask if you're excited, first and foremost. I would say be excited. Uh, are you excited? That is the question. Leave it in the comments down below. I'd love to know if you are actually excited um, because <laughs> um, it looks like we're uh, on the verge of signing this young man. Young man. Looks like we're about to sign him for around two million euros, which is what, about a million and a half pounds? Um, 25 year old Runnison, his name is, and uh, he's going to come in as uh, apparently. Second choice goalkeeper. Apparently, his medical is due tomorrow. Whether that's true, we shall find out. Um, but I'd love to know your thoughts on him. Uh, but let's move on to the uh, the main story, and that's this guy. Uh, a lot of reports doing the rounds tonight that Brentford are holding out for fifteen, yes, one five million pounds, and um, they want fifteen million quid. Plus, they want us to loan him straight back to them for the whole of the season, which, let's be real here, we've just sold Martinez for, what, 16, 18 million quid plus add-ons, so about 20, 22 million pounds. Are we genuinely telling us, is everyone genuinely telling us that we're going to go and do 16 and a half million quid on two goalkeepers that are just nowhere near Martinez's level? Is that is that what people are saying? Because if that is the case, then let me tell you something. Arsenal aren't as skint as they're letting on. Because we have to sell to buy, I keep getting told. Um, well, if that's the case, why are we buying two goalkeepers with the money we sold Martinez for? Yes, I get it. In terms of the young one, the young boy, one and a half million quid is, is peanuts. Mesut Ozil gets paid that a month. Uh, it's peanuts in the modern day of football and how transfer fees and wages are obscene. Um, that's potentially one for the future. This lad at Brentford is not all that, if I'm being honest. He's not a great goalkeeper. And um, for me, I, I don't want him. Real talk. He's 25. He's the same age. Uh, Spanish international. or uh, well, his nationality is Spanish. He isn't an international. But they're both 25. And again, potentially another one for the future. But I just look at it and I think like 15 million quid. Are you mad? We just sold Martinez, who is levels above this guy, for a few million quid more than this 
guy's worth. Yes, they're both 25. Yes, they've got years ahead of them. Yes, he plays regular football. Um, but 15 million quid to then loan him back? Really? Who sanctioned that? Who, it, listen, it ain't a done deal yet by any stretch of the imagination, but it is picking up a lot of heat tonight and a, a lot of traction. And um, listen, it would be typical Arsenal to go and sell Martinez and then go and buy him for nearly the same amount of money and go, oh, here you go, Brentford. Have him back again. Um, I, I just don't understand the direction or the, or the, the vision you know, yes, great, get some in for the future, fantastic, I understand that, every football club wants to bring young talent in, I get it, you want to bring in the best young talent you can bring in and bed them in for the future down the road, or potentially sell them at a profit without hardly ever playing games, Chelsea are the masters of that one, um, but 15 million quid that we could spend on saying girls, um, get the young kid in, the other lad, uh, Runnison, they're both, both 25 years old, this guy's 15 million quid, the other guy's one and a half million quid, this guy's not that great. I don't know what the other lad's saying. I've never seen him play. But to go and do 16 and a half million quid, which is there or thereabouts what we sold Martinez for, to then replace Martinez with two goalkeepers when we are lacking badly in midfield, I think is mad. Um, genuinely don't get it, if I'm being honest. One keeper, cool. Two? Really? Does that then mean we're getting rid of Matt Macy? <sighs> Roll on deadline day, that's all I can say, because this is just long. All these stories are doing my nothing, if I'm being completely honest. But let me know what you think. Uh, leave it in the comments section. Let me know what um, what your thoughts are on Raya. Do you rate him? Because like I said, I've seen him about four or five times. I have never been impressed with him. His kicking is abysmal. Um, and he's not that great. I mean, the playoff final, he looked like a duck out of water. He just didn't have a clue what he was doing. So... I don't know. Listen, it's a lot of money to go and do on a championship goalkeeper when somebody the same age is coming in. Um, yes, he's got less experience. Yes, he's not played in a, a league as good as theirs. But he's going to cost one fraction of the price of this guy. I don't understand why we're looking at both. Maybe, maybe we've got more money than we let on. Who knows? It's not football manager. Anyway, leave it all in the comments section. Let me know your thoughts on David Raya, Runnison, Arsenal's... Um, vision does anyone know what it is leave it in the comment section and uh, i will be back about lunchtime tomorrow don't forget go and vote on the poll and um i'll uh, i'll be reading out the scores tomorrow when i do my preview and start at 11 for the game so listen have a wonderful wicked evening whatever it is you're doing and uh, i'll be back again tomorrow latest peeps